There she goes, down the trail, starting right here at the tippy top. Whatever that is, it's pretty, I don't know what it is. It looks sort of like a rose bush, but it's not. It's a pretty spot. You know what? The Grand Canyon is grand. They called it that for a reason, because it is grand. Pretty darned amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you know, guys, I'm back on the trail. Back on the trail again. I mean, actually carrying a backpack with stuff in it and all the things. You know, if, you, if you're gonna miss out on the parts of the Arizona Trail, but then you get well enough to do something, it's better to get well enough to do this, because this is cool. <laughs> and on top of that, we got a better permit arrangement this year than we did last year. Last year I had one permit which basically meant I had to go all the way across the canyon. I don't know how much it was. I think it was 17 miles across. Then I got to spend the night. And then, uh, that's hard to do, actually. This is a big hole. This is a big hole in the ground. And this year, we have got, we have an eight miler, and then a seven miler, and then a seven miler. So we basically get to do it in, uh, two nights, three days. Whereas last year I had to do it in just two days. Which is the longest you can get in the canyon. It's the longest you can get in the canyon, yeah, so, you know. I feel so thankful. Yeah, well, it's good for us. When you're old, your knees hurt, back hurts, all that stuff. You think, man, you know what? I'd just rather do that the easy way and take my time and enjoy this. <laughs> Having to rush across there like I did last year. I mean, there were parts of it I walked in the dark, you know, because I, just didn't get there in time, you know? And so this year we shouldn't have to do any of that. And and we had a break in the weather. Last last In the last week they had some really hot weather, you know? I, I believe I heard from somebody, who knows, true or not, but uh, that there was 110 degree weather at points down here. Uh, and I know of 107, you know, for sure. And for us, the forecast now, basically there's nothing over 100. So basically in the 90s, you know. So cooler weather. Man, it's cold right now. All that cold air coming off the top of the North Rim. It's amazing. In about an hour and a half, we'll be down there and we'll be cooking. And it's still cold enough right now. I got my gloves on. See, I mean, it's amazing that that happens. When we were driving across to the top up there on our way to start today, I think it was 34 out in the flats up there. And I'm pretty sure that wind coming off the top of that hill right now is 34. It's chilly, actually quite chilly. What's crazy to think is it's 34 now and windy because it's coming off of there. It's like a big old waterfall of cold air. <laughs> and then here in about, I don't know, I don't know what time it is. It's probably about seven o'clock or something. At about 10 this morning, so what is that, three more hours? I bet you it'll be 85. And then another hour after that, it'll probably be 90. And then 95. <laughs> of course, we're losing a lot of, I think it's a 5,000 foot drop off of here right now. So losing a lot of elevation as well. What's funny is occasionally that cold wind will stop and you'll get a little waft of air from down below and you can feel the heat coming up in it. It's just, this is, uh, this is an amazing place. Pretty amazing. And there goes she down the trail. Woohoo! One step at a time. You know, when we first started this five months ago, she could only do six miles. I don't think she could have come as far as we already did this morning. I don't think so. And she's just going to cruise right through here, no doubt about it.
Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? doing good. Yeah. Those young people are hoofing it up here. Amen. They're breathing pretty hard. Amen. Yeah, see, see this, sweetie? I like to get over on this side and walk so I don't have to go down the stairs. <laughs> Isn't that amazing, all them stairs? Guys have built a, cra a crazy cool trail they have. Yep. That's a really good trail. Yeah. There goes the granny. The she of power. <laughs> yeah, they got some spots there for tying up the mules, it looks like. There's a toilet right there, actually. If you wanted to use a toilet, you could. Uh, it's locked. Or oh, did those guys say it's locked? Yeah. yeah okay. That guy just came out of there. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe. How do you know it's locked? Maybe it's not. Do you need to use a toilet? I just see locked on the side. Well, no, but it's up, it's up above. Nope. Yeah. I think I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Good righty. Ooh. This is our go through the tunnel. What you doing, Granny? You taking pictures? I'm going to take a picture of you. Taking <laughs> pictures. Uh, well, I was going to take a video of you. Here comes She-Ra, a.k.a. Granny, a.k.a. Doc.
Yeah. Yeah. You look good in there, girl. You look good. Like my daughter. Yes. <laughs> you got good jeans. <laughs> good jeans. Well, you know, we need to take every compliment we can get. Anytime we can get it. Have a good one. Here we are, we finally found the sun. The nice thing about the Grand Canyon in the morning is you can walk a long ways in the shade when normally the sun would get you because you're down in these deep canyons, right? And so I think we got about four miles to our destination and we've come about roughly three probably. And so it's starting to get hot. I can feel it already. Woo hoo, and it's only what, like eight in the morning or something? I don't know. They said it's gonna get 95. I bet you it's probably 75 now or something. Not very hot, but kinda hot. And as usual, it is uh, fantastically, amazingly beautiful. Uh, we got this cool spot we're gonna walk through here. Look at this. There goes Granny hiking down through there. You could even get some shade. You could you could live under there. That's almost like a cliff shelter, you know. Is that incredible or what? Uh, it's been a good morning. It's starting to get warm. Got my, got my coolness on. Uh, but <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna video vlog and walk along the trail. Uh, there's pieces of it that I can barely walk along the trail. I kind of get this vertigo with heights. Uh, just look at the trail. You're fine. It's crazy. I think my, I think we got some film of it. It's, it's amazing, but this is just gorgeous. I'm loving it. Well, there's Roaring Springs. Look right there. Comes right out of the rock. Isn't that funny? You can see a little bitty dribble of above that. And you use it for infrastructure. We was talking about maybe if we could go get underneath of that little uh, that little fall there, it'd be like sitting in a cold shower. Feel pretty good about now. <laughs> well, here we are. We're at a place called Manzanita. Right up there, we sat and had some uh, got some water. And you are now getting down into the canyon. You can look down in there, of course. You can see the creek running by. See the creek running by. It's kind of hot. I mean, it's 10-ish in the morning right now. It's already 85. And so when we get too hot, we'll just go sit in the creek. But uh, I don't think we're gonna probably have that happen. Got my shirt all wet and got all watered up. Had some, uh, had some electrolyte and uh, had a snack, put my feet up for half an hour. And uh, only got about a mile and, mile and four tenths, I think, down to where we're gonna stay the night. And so, look at this, it's pretty amazing when you look around here. Look at that. You can't even hardly get it all in the camera. It's pretty amazing. What do you think there, She-Ra? Oh, oh, I just love it. There you love go. It. Well, let's let's hike to Cottonwood and put up our tent. Look at that! Isn't that pretty? I like it. Look at that!
Look at that, all them yellow flowers. It's pretty cool, huh? And then look at that. If you wanted to, you could go sit. There's a big pool at the bottom of there. You could go sit in there. How about it, she -Ra? You want to go sit in that pool? Oh, I can go Enough, um... Look at this. Why? We made it to the we campground. Are at Cottonwood Campground. Number nine. Hi. Right. I'll take you over here and show you our spot. Boy, I tell you what, the last mile and a half, it was... It was warmish. There's our little deal for hanging up backpacks. I'm gonna get the tent set out. We just keep wetting our shirts down uh, so that we can stay kind of cool. Got our little chairs though. And, uh, yeah, we did good. They got a little box for putting goodies in. Keep all the uh, food and stuff out. Even got a picnic table back there. Look at that. Pretty fancy. So we are going to get the tent set up. Tell you what, we are in the middle of an afternoon adventure. It's about 95 probably. Pretty overcast, so it's not super, super hard sun on you, but it's still pretty, pretty hot. And there's a place right over here. It's called Ribbon Falls. We'll show it to you when we get there. We'll get some video of it. I walked past it last year because I was in too big of a hurry. But this year, we are sitting up at the camp, we got everything set up. It's just too darn hot, you know, just to sit there. You know, we had a partial shade under a, a tree a little bit, you know. But man, I was starting to cook. So we said, hey, let's go sit underneath the, let's go sit underneath the falls and just chill out till this evening. Because truth is, there's nothing really to do till then. So anyway, that's the plan. But I mean, seriously? He could jump in that creek and get nice and cool, easy enough. What do you say there, she -Ra? This is spectacular. We are off to Ribbon Falls. Uh, I tell you what, the canyon, it's, it's hot. It is really hot down here. But so beautiful, so beautiful. You know what, I'm just, I feel very blessed privilege that I get to do this uh, yeah. and the way the uh, permits worked out for us it's just perfect yeah that's perfect so I am very thankful and very warm all right we've made it to Ribbon Falls right here mm -hmm. look at that what a hike good hike I mean it's not like it's a good hike it's not even a good hike at all, actually, <laughs> but we made it. And it's going to be shady and it's going to be cool for the whole afternoon. We'll probably stay here till five or six o'clock, I expect. I think it's dark at about eight or nine, eight thirty. So yeah, look at this. It's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Look up there.
we go. Little Cottonwood Ranger Station. We've got some bathrooms, uh, a water fountain, water zone. It was down until just yesterday, so that's pretty awesome. And our camp is right up there. Look at this. For a view.